What's up, everyone? What's up, everyone? Welcome to Planet Xbox episode 29, man. Uh, what's up, Attic? How you doing? Uh, conti- the, this hell of a week continues, man. That's all. This hell of a week continues. Doesn't it? Doesn't it? Doesn't it? So last week we had a, you know, a special episode of the podcast where it was like right before the rumors sort of broke out. And so, cause our, our, our conversations were a bit controlled and it was more of a reaction at the idea. And then uh little did I know you with withholding very important information from me, uh, which uh, probably would have set me ablaze. So appreciate you not breaking at the time that you did. But well, um, here's the thing. Like now people are trying to roll back saying it was fake. This shit wasn't fake. You know, people sit there and they can try to wrap up in a bowl a bow all you want, wrap it up as a present, give it to someone for Christmas. Xbox and Microsoft have every intention on doing all the shit that's rumored. Now, just because they're going back and restructuring things does not mean everyone was wrong. Here's the thing. Smooth, if, if there was not some form of truth to all the shit that's going on on the internet, mm-hmm. do, you think, do you think Phil would have directed us to another day? No. It would, no. Bill would not have let the PR in general would not have let the, the rumors get this bad. How easy would it have been for Bethesda to tweet out and said, the rumors you hear about Starfield coming to, uh, to PlayStation are incorrect. Yeah. That's why I like, and now, now I'm a little bit frustrated because now you know what it feels like. It feels like Microsoft is, is taking the, like the gu- the bullets out of the chamber. And they're yeah. like, okay, now the now guess who's gonna suffer? The Xbox influencers that reported on this. Um, how can I say this before before we get to uh, at the end of the day? Hold on, before we get get to it, I know we ain't got really much topics. This sort of like broke the internet and is on the verge of breaking a community. So we definitely gonna know to dedicate this episode to that. Um, what are you playing? <laughs> What am I playing? Yeah. Uh, I'm playing Hell Divers today. Uh, I played Foam Stars yesterday. Ew. It, I actually enjoyed it. It wasn't like the worst experience I had. I actually feel like it's kind of like in a similar grain. It's like something like a, a bleeding edge, like just something fun to do on the afternoon. Like nothing that I would buy. You know, I wouldn't give people hard earned money for the damn game. But, you know, it's in, it's in, um, I almost said Game Pass. It's a PlayStation Plus, Plus, so it's it's a nice little experience. Okay, okay, yeah. uh, You said it's like bleeding edge. That means it's not going to be live and kicking for too long. So, um, Hell Divers. I tried to play Hell Divers. Um, Servers are currently down, at least on my end. I'm gonna try again uh, after the podcast. There is um. I've also been playing the Banishers. Uh, the game's coming out on Halloween. Um, I don't know when this episode is going to air, so I can't really get into uh, too much detail. Um, I am working on a review for that game. Hoping, uh, yeah, hope, I, I, I'm, I'm working on a review for that uh, game. Try to switch up how I do uh, reviews and whatnot for 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 video games uh, moving forward, but. I've been playing that, kind of haven't really been doing anything else. I know Madden just went into Game Pass today. Uh, this is another successful year of me avoiding buying Madden and um, exhausting my 10-hour trial and reclaiming the game uh, at the end of the season when it goes into Game Pass. So definitely shout out to Xbox for that. Um over the course of the week, outside of the you know the sh- the shenanigans that's been taking place, uh, we got another MLB game coming uh, next month, and that is launching day and date in Xbox Game Pass. And I, I, I think that was mentioned last week for a brief time, uh, but I just yeah. want to um, bring that back up that it is coming again, and it's day and date in Game Pass, and looking forward to uh, trying that when it comes. I won't be playing that shit. I ain't <laughs> literally haven't downloaded any of the other ones. I think the first one. I think the first one actually 
but they were decent. Like the thing is, it's like it's good to play, you know, uh, a couple games here and here online. I like playing with people I know. Um, I can't get into baseball sims. It's hard. It's to me. I think it's a little. It, they try to make it like arcadey where it works. They casualized it, but baseball, in my opinion, ain't a fun sport. You know what I mean, and so the games aren't um as fun. But MLB the show, uh, you know, it looks good. It plays good. I I'm not mad at it. I'm glad it exists. It it it, it exists on principle. Um. So let's uh get back to the matter at hand. Xbox and its uh, self destruction, or a Microsoft destruction of Xbox, or its uh pivot, its new business strategy. Last week. A flood of rumors uh, came out that was being uh, reported on and re-reported on and confirmed by, you know, some of the biggest insiders in the gaming community. And um, those rumors had, we we were initially responding to the thoughts of Hi-Fi Rush and Sea of Thieves launching multi-platform. The rumors got, it's like every, what happened was it felt like every hour, every, they kept reporting a new game. So, next game was uh, Halo Infinite, and then Starfield, Indiana Jones, Hellblade, um, the next Doom game. It was just like, I'm like, it, it got to the point where they were, it, 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 to the point it was like, okay, so you guys are just, Right now, I'm just planning to just destroy the whole entire planet. If, if this is all true, and it bothered people, it it set a lot of us off edge. Uh, you know, Tim, you know, uh, denounced his his Xbox fanboyism. Uh, uh, Doc Dark went viral for a video he made singing to his Xbox he was Series trolling S. Too, wasn't he it? was, it was, yeah, he was trolling, but it got picked up. A lot of people's reactions got picked up. News articles was being written. Yeah, people like risk it for the biscuit. I I've got mixed up with Dr. Doc. People caught coined the video was they said it was me, but it wasn't me. It was Doc Dark. But um well, wasn't even in it. Hmm. You wasn't even in the article. I by name and but they did end up updating the article after they corrected that Dr. Dark was a s- singer. They updated me changing my profile to fuck xbox as uh in the article so that pretty much happened and you know everyone has a right to be mad in my opinion i think um when you consider the culture of gaming and you know all the heads at xbox know the culture they know the mentality and the impact the console fandom and the console war has so However they going into me is they know this wasn't going to go over well. So I'm curious to see what's going on behind closed doors between Xbox and Microsoft. Um, but so it got crazy. And, you know, obviously if this stuff was true, it's like, yeah, there's like, yeah, X, Xbox is, to me, the, 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 the gaming industry landscape changes if they do it to the point where it's like, okay, like, I can't like it, it, it. It's oh, such a move so drastic. It's like I don't know what they're going to gain from Nintendo and PlayStation, but they're gonna for whatever couple dollars they plan to gain for them, they're going to destroy everything they were for twenty years of Xbox history. Um, the news got crazy. The reactions, the discords, the Twitter spaces, the videos. The public announcements, uh, from Clobril to Peter Ovo to Idol Sloth, uh, mm-hmm. me. Well, I don't matter. I'm not. I'm not uh, uh, the biggest talking piece. I feel anymore. you. But you still got like twelve thousand followers on Twitter, like twelve thousand followers on YouTube. Like, stop acting like your voice don't mean nothing in the grand scheme. Hey, of they. So they. The noise got so loud, and Phil Spencer finally tweeted. We hear you, and we will share our our business plans for Xbox only next week, and that's it, right? Then more rumors come out. 
you know, people are like, oh, you no, know, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Coke gets a text message in the middle of an NXT podcast that made him do a face that people are now memeing now. Um, it's a it's a funny meme though. Yeah, yeah, the glory hole meme. That's what it. <laughs> so there, so people think there was like a a pivot or something that occurs, but then you get like up uh, GameStop. In, Attic, you did a video on this. They have a up something coming up. I think this week for X, Xbox Game Pass demo day or Game Pass demo day, and the marketing material doesn't say Xbox Game Pass. It says. You can play on Xbox, but they're coining it as Microsoft Game Pass. And there's rumors. Well, I don't know if Jez talked to GameSpot uh, stop, mm-hmm. but he said it was a um a uh, a, a yeah, typo a type. on their end. Uh, and, and I don't know if that's ever happened in the past. I think EA someone did said it, it did before a couple EA, years ago. EA when they were doing. I'm just we're saying, where can people? People are saying, oh, you need to take your, your video down. No, fuck that. Because at the end of the day, all this timing, you mean to tell me that ironically someone misprints the, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and get, did GameStop even make a, a a statement? No, they don't need to. That that material was given to them. Did Xbox make a statement? No, apparently, X, apparently they made it. Oh, they That's did? That's what was said. Okay. So even if they didn't make it, the moment people are on Twitter talking about the the possibility that they're going to change the name of Xbox, why did Xbox just shoot that down immediately? A yeah. tweet would have fixed that. One tweet. We are not uh, at this time. You can't even say at this time. We are not. Sh- uh, entertain the idea of switch uh, of changing the name of xbox at this time and if they said at this time it would even be worse but it's just like nah like look i get it but at this point where we are right now anything is up for debate and that's what happens when a company that has loyal fans such as xbox leaves the entire fan base not just the fanboys the entire fan base out to drive for an entire week because now you give the trolls enough time to to fake shit and to spread misinformation. And then people are sitting there saying, all oh, this all this misinformation being spread. The point is, is it's not it's not misinformation because we don't know the real scenario. Like yeah. you you can't claim something misinformation when an announcement hasn't been made to correct it. We are speculating on rumors, and I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't like the way some of the industry folks in this industry are acting like we're all being toxic and we're all being fanboys just because we are speculating on what's going to happen this next week. Yeah. Um, and I don't like that. We have to wait a week for it to happen. So the thing is, is that even with this change, I, I, I don't, I'm going to give them a pass on the wait the week because to me, it's actually, it, it's better for us to have to, for them to have to wait. Because to me, if they were just going to, Obviously, because that thing was supposed to happen the 22nd, they most likely had the majority of the shit that they were going to use with there. So to me, like a rumor like that, if they if they were confident and they were standing on that hill, they would just release it now. You know what I'm saying? But the fact that they're they're saying we need to to go through, I I was told personally that they had multiple meetings for hours upon hours at a time. They met up with Activision. They met up with Bethesda. Like they, they, this, there's an internal debate going on, and I believe. And you know, sure, the comment section might disagree. Twitter might disagree. I don't care. I truly believe that the Twitter outrage gave whoever leaked this because I still don't know who leaked this shit. I know the the account that gave me the information, but I don't know who the person is behind the account. Mm-hmm. So whoever gave us this information. They could have potentially have saved the Xbox exclusive brand. Now I don't know if uh, there's there's rumors going around saying that this was all a, an elaborate scheme to fish out who's who's telling rumors. Mm-hmm. I think there is better ways than damaging your brand to this extent to find yeah. leakers. Yeah, uh, damage has been done, bro, and. 
I don't think it could be recovered either. <laughs> My thing is, is that why do you need to vent, right? Because a lot of people say things are all right. They're reverting back on this plan, right? My thing is, why do you need an event to tell? Because remember, Microsoft has never formally come out to tell us any of this stuff. This is all reacting to rumors or quote unquote like leaks. So why would you need to host a business event to tell us things are going to remain status quo? You know what I mean? So I think um, I think uh, they need to. Uh, I'm curious to see what the you know the changes because there there is going to be a change in the Xbox business. There there's going to be a pivot. Um, it sounds like Microsoft is going to have more input, and I'm not happy about that because everything Microsoft Microsoft uh, touch uh, on a consumer end does not last, and it generally doesn't uh, go as well. So um, uh, Microsoft isn't marketable. So there was rumors that Microsoft. It's about to hold this event, so to announce whatever changes coming on Xbox, and I think that would turn me off as an Xbox fan, and and it's not the head of Xbox doing doing this, and this is Microsoft, because it's like to us, it's like who who are you, you know what I mean? Like, it's like it's pretty much like how can I say this? I'm trying to think of um you you a uh. A customer, right? Right inside of a store, you're used to the you know who the managers are and the uh, the people that work for it, and then you come across somebody that's different, a new face, right? And but you treat them like oh, I'm looking for this person. Who are you, right? But that not knowing that that person's the president <laughs> of the of the company or whatever. So the thing is, I don't want to hear any of this stuff from Microsoft. I'm not a Microsoft fan. I don't look to Microsoft for Xbox news, right? I don't want to hear uh, Satya Nadella and, and Tim Stewart or whatever talk about what's next for Xbox. You know what I mean? I think um, they should leave that to the game team. And, and if Microsoft is going to be handling it, then that's just bad news for Xbox. I'm sorry. In my did, you see, did you see all the, the artwork changes that went on their website? Yes, uh, the 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 Xbox Series X and S uh, language being removed off games, and it's just console, PC, cloud, whatever. Um, very vague. Not a fan of that either. Um, I've never seen a company who's been afraid to market their own their own products. Their own products. This is this goes back to the thing is is if if Microsoft was ever disappointed and the way Xbox sells or there not being enough Game Pass subscribers or not enough uh, people that purchase Starfield or something like that, they got themselves to blame because they don't accurately market anything. They don't do effective marketing, which we spoke about this a couple of times um, leading up to the Starfield release. They don't do effective marketing. They don't do, like, Game Pass can't hit its plateau because they still treating uh game pass like grassroots with grassroots marketing they still treating it like it's in like beta and they're still preparing it for the mass audience it's not um being marketed as a household item or a well-known item like they need to like the thing is is that so the thing is is that you're not doing enough you're not doing enough to sell the console uh and you're not doing enough to sell game pass so it's like there's still a lot of people that don't know about Game Pass. There's not enough commercials. There's not enough banners. There's not enough cross-referencing or cross-marketing for it. So even if you're not you're not reaching people to buy your new console, but you're also not marketing Game Pass enough for people who don't have a console to jump in. You know what I mean? I don't see Xbox Compact, a Game Pass cloud advertised anywhere. I don't see uh, that stuff advertised, oh, that you could just log in on your TV. They don't have commercials for game pass airing showing people uh just logging uh just launching game pass on their on their samsung tv they're not showing uh people uh launching xbox game pass from their browser by just going to www.xbox.com slash play and the and the the store shows up uh they're not showing commercials where an xbox is being uh displayed they're 
self-sabotaging themselves. So all the when it comes to sales, subscriptions, uh, monthly act- active users, uh, the lack of growth comes from their lack of effective marketing and lack of getting new customers. And now they feel that it's not enough, so they're going to destroy the what there forty million people that's well within the ecosystem that will remain right. You're going to throw that away for what? Maybe a combined one million of PlayStation and Nintendo who who might be interested in into uh, some of these games. And then you by doing that, you wreck any hope for your next gen console. You wreck honestly any hope for anything you reveal because they they will have a lot less value. No one's going to care about the next Xbox showcase. It just doesn't matter anymore. It becomes completely irrelevant. It's the same thing why we're not super hype when Sega's doing one or when EA is doing one or when uh, Ubisoft doing one. Sure, we're gonna watch. We don't know what game that they're gonna reveal and stuff. But we we're just like, all right, what? May, who got the marketing deal? Or is it exclusive to this platform or what? But at the end of the day, if it's just a third party show, it's a third party show. We don't we don't hold it to the same standard that we hold like a a Nintendo Direct or a, a PlayStation um State of Play or a PlayStation Showcase. You know, Xbox that they, their showcases are hold to a certain standard is because we all trying to see how the Xbox is going to get better. And now you're in a situation where these things could be multi-platform and every game you show is like, okay, and these are some nice games, but it doesn't do anything. It's like, all right, sure, if I'm interested, we're going to buy the game. I'll just buy it on whichever platform I'm playing on. But you lose the excitement. You lose, you lose the zeitgeist. You lose the pretty much that pop. Like, you know what I mean? Like, exclusive get a lot of attention for some reason. Like, I'm not saying that exclusives are like, no, sell like crazy, like like your multiplayer games, but they get a lot of attention. Once you become just an, it become like just a regular game or regular publisher, your games aren't going to get that attention unless it's game of the year. Unless it's game of the year. Your thoughts, Attic? Uh, I don't know, man. Like the thing about when it comes to like how they're running the brand is even if to even if monday they come out and they say that all this has been a misunderstanding they throw all their their you know fan base and everyone under the bus saying they all over you know exaggerated and they all jumped the gun um i'm gonna be real with you i still i still don't have trust in xbox i know like, neither at the end of the day, the fact that, see, at this point, now that I see people going after the people that leaked the, the initial rumor, now mm-hmm. I want Microsoft to come out there and just, and just take accountability. We were going to do yeah. this and we're not no longer. Yeah. Because to me, not only are you, were you going to do that to your consumer base after you just did a state of, uh, a, a a developer direct trying to sell an Xbox months, a couple months ago, the people that rock your brand on the internet, you going to let them dry out. Oh, it was their fault. They should. But when you could easily had did a PR message, could easily did a tweet, just de- debunking it immediately. I would be more disappointed with them if they go through with letting the, the Xbox influencers and, you know, the media in general, because you, you know, I'm not the biggest media fan, but <laughs> I would be more disappointed if, if, if they let them take the hit than just coming out there and admitting and taking out accountability because no one's going to convince me this wasn't going to happen. Yeah. No one. And the difference between me and a lot of other content creators and like influencers and uh, press is I'm not willing to sit here for a hundred percent and tell you that Microsoft is wrong. Mm-hmm. You know, they, we have always said exclusives help drive a console, but we don't know to the extent on how much it sells a console. So we don't know. Maybe we will find out. But at the same time, as much as I'll say Microsoft might be onto something, at the same time, 
we've seen scenarios where doing stuff like this does not work. And I'm not going to sit here and tell you no way is the right way. Yeah. One has risk and one has less risk. To me, I've seen Microsoft too many times try to be ahead of the curve. Yeah. And they try to jump on the ship before it left and they end up falling in the fucking water. And I personally feel like even though that there's a chance PlayStation does something like this because they the the way triple A's are being made isn't efficient and they might not be able to carry the bill for the foreseeable future, even though that that is true and PlayStation might do this eventually in the future. I'm looking at, okay, but what happens if they don't do it? What happens if we're in next generation and no one's buying Xbox consoles because you, you yeah. gave the only card you had away. Yeah. And then once they do something and then what happens if they don't get rid of game pass day and date next week, then that's definitely going at that point. Yeah. And then before you know it, we're getting the Twitter post from the Xbox social media thing, like 2027, 2028. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. It was a good ride, but, you know, yeah. uh, this, I don't know how you put a PR statement like that. Yeah. But Did it's you... just like, but see, the thing is, is, is my, the difference between me and other people, uh, who, who's one? Like Khalif. Khalif is like really being adamant. Is, hold on, I'm going to let you hold, hold it down. I got to run to the restroom, but hold it down, addict. Okay, like the difference between me and like other content creators like Khalif is I will look at and I'll say, you know what? They might be on to something. But at the same time, I won't dismiss other people's opinion because it doesn't align with mine. And uh, it's just it's just disappointing. You know, I, I feel like always got people in the industry that just they, they they're so extra with wanting to be right. And, you know, that's not necessarily, uh, you know, a, a knack at Khalif. It's just a knack at everyone. Like, you know, people that think that exclusives going to PlayStation won't hurt the Xbox, like the, the hardware side, and it won't result to anything. It's easy to make those determinations when a lot of these people don't play on Xbox. They, they and, you know, when it comes to content creators and people in the media, especially, they get review codes. They get all types of stuff. Like it's easy to tell people you might lose your your you might lose all your stuff, your digital library because we're seeing it right now with uh, Crunchyroll and Fundimation. You know the people that had Fundimation and they bought stuff off their store. They're not getting that back. That's a wrap. It's just it's frustrating because it's like little things like this you didn't need to go. And I'm I'm annoyed with Xbox because I feel like they they're doing something that's not necessary. And I'm annoyed with content creators because I feel like instead of us having one unified voice, you got people that want to act like because they're they think they're so right that you have to be wrong. And, and it's just frustrating, man, because it's just like. I don't understand how people that's been in this industry for decades, decades, people has been in the industry. I don't understand how losing Xbox, losing its exclusives makes sense to them because that's how all the industry's always been. And then people say, well, you know, it doesn't bother me if other people get to play the game. It doesn't bother me either, but you know, what does bother me. Losing all my digital library because Xbox five years ago made a dumbass decision. Yeah. Um, I and I think yeah, all these people are talking, all these talking heads, right? The ones that are trying to control the uh, uh the outrage, they're speaking as if there's perfect examples of this occurring. Like this is normal. Like, oh yeah, this this this, it, this it, is not it, normal. There's not an example. I saw Dirt, not dirt. I saw um, uh, Doc was in a call with Reforged Gaming. Mm -hmm. I don't know why he was in that, but so I, I'm seeing that they're like, well, you know, statistics show that Call of Duty wouldn't get that many people over to Xbox if they made it an exclusive. And Doc said, 
what other game is big as Call of Duty has ever been exclusive? Yeah. And I said, he's got a point. Like, how are you going to run numbers yeah. and do an analysis on something that's literally never happened in the industry? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I, I, I don't like how everybody wants us to get, you know, all comfortable with it. And the thing is, is that would that be the reaction if, you know, if, if, if PlayStation did that? Yeah, nobody minds PlayStation putting games on PC. They're getting accustomed to it. But they would have something to say if it was there were games, all their games were just coming out on Xbox. It wasn't like it was just one or two. It's like in a matter of a day, they said almost said the entire library of Xbox past, present and future is essentially multi-platform. And I, yeah, I was getting annoyed at the people reporting on it. I got sick of Jeff Grubb and uh, that Tom and all of them cooperating these reports. It's just like, stop. It, it's like, it, I don't it, mind that because here's the thing smooth. Like regardless what you feel and how you feel about the situation, that's their job. It's just like, it's we're sitting here talking about the same situation. The only difference between us and them Mm -hmm. as we recorded later but then it happened yeah i mean you made a skit about around the same time why did you do that well i made the skit based off uh, because it was i think it was like yo this is a yo the school i made the skit it was supposed to be a scheduled video for something but all this stuff happened like it wasn't the skit was just like because i owed you a skit my point is is why did you why did you attack them for reporting on the situation when you made a skit on it? And that, that put light to the situation. It's okay. If you next contradict qu- yourself. Yeah, no, that's a, did it's you a skit. Next question? That's a next question. Yeah. That's cause I'm not a journalist. I'm not one of them. I'm, I'm, I'm a fanboy. Like, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm a user. I'm a, I'm someone who this directly impacts. So I, I can do things like that. I can do that. They can't. <laughs> Okay, so maybe you got that one. What's next? What you want to talk about next, man? Um, How many minutes we in? We're only 30 minutes in. Did Xbox we reverse the course? Some... Yes. They I did? believe they did. So what do you... Here's the thing. People, <laughs> people watching this, um, I knew about this last Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, and it got leaked Sunday. The person who told me, bats 100, never wrong. Always consistent always has the right info. He's literally leaked to me whole state of plays in order. He's leaked to me all Nintendo directs in order. Told me blade was coming to, to, uh, that there was a blade game in, in, in production. Been one of the most consistent people I've ever talked to in terms of leaks. And I have a lot of leakers. You can ask Smooth. A lot of people tell me mm-hmm. shit. And this person, every time this person pops up in my DMs, I always look at it because I know his info going to be right. Mm-hmm. Now, sure, could it have been wrong this time? Perhaps. But and also, why didn't Phil Spencer or Bethesda tweet that it was wrong? Because at the time, it was just a rumor that Starfield was coming to, to PlayStation. And one tweet from Bethesda, one tweet from a community manager with approval could have destroyed all of this energy with a couple clicks and an enter, and none of them did it. You're muted. Yeah, you're muted. Always having issues with this, man. So I just like, when it comes down to it, smooth, I, I just, I get frustrated because it's, it's like, you know, we've been sitting, we, we, we've been on this brand for years, man. We've been sitting here with this brand. We, we've been a hundred percent with this brand. We, we've been giving them good feedback. We've had good amount uh, of, of ups with the Xbox, a good amount of downs with the Xbox, but I will admit right now. Mm-hmm. This is the this is the lowest when it comes to faith I've ever had in Xbox. For far. sure. For sure. Uh, you can hear me now? I'm gotten to the, yeah, yeah. Awesome. I've Thank gotten you. to the point 
Well, I don't know if they can turn this brand around. I'm going to be real with you. You know what's crazy, though? The, here, the thing is, is like I feel like every time they have a good roadmap or every time they have something that can result into them slight, starting to get some of the market back, they do something stupid like this. They had a great developer direct a couple weeks ago. I was just about to Everyone bring that up. Loved it. And then guess what? They shit away all the momentum for 2024. Yep. So now I guess we're probably going to sell the greatest Xbox consoles when Hellblade 2 comes out. And they only have themselves to blame for that shit. And then what's crazy is they were supposed to do this, this event at the end of the month. And they just did that developer direct. Like, how conniving is that, that you're going to show reasons to buy an Xbox and to play in the Xbox ecosystem, and you make drastic changes, but you still show that developer direct? Yeah. you're. Uh, I was just about to bring it up, because it's crazy. Three weeks ago, they had a developer direct. All good games. I was happy uh, for, you know, Avowed, Indiana Jones, Hellblade 2. All look good. And my thing is like, yo, you guys now got the cadence you want. You guys got the releases. You guys can compete. And, and you got now getting people seriously looking at your games and associating them with Xbox. Eliminate like, like this is the time. Like, so like, I, that's why I don't. That's why I can't. That's why I can't fuck with Microsoft, man. They're they give up and they, they need to ex- let the xbox rock as your brand let that shit compete like it's at the end of the day. let us have a competition like do it let them compete as is like stall that multi-platform talk stall it and let's see what the xbox can do now compete like test what you can do get your playstation on man get your playstation on and see how see i'm not expecting them to like just lap the PlayStation, but you can have a better outcome. But you got to help yourself have that better outcome. You got to get that brand out there. It all comes back down to marketing. It all comes back down to marketing, man. I think it comes, look, I, I, I agree with you on the marketing. I think it comes down to the games. Uh, you know, they, they've always had decent games, but they've never had console selling games, games that move the market, games that move the needle. They've always been one shake shy of that they've always had hiccups like uh you know redfall you know bleeding edge you know even though i love bleeding edge that was still a game that probably shouldn't have seen the light of day they were never going to support it the way they should have you know there's so many scenarios where they have just completely dropped the ball and what did we do we we gave them our feedback they they reversed some of it they got some of it fixed and now what they're doing it again it's it. They're literally putting us in, 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 in like this abusive relationship mm-hmm. that we have with the company that that makes our consoles. Where it's like we can't, we can't, we cannot expect them not to step on a rake at this point. <laughs> and, and I think it's not even it's not Phil Spencer's fault. It's not Sarah Bond's fault. It's not Matt Booty's fault. It's Microsoft. Yeah. There's so much red tape. The, I'm I'm with you. I I I want another company to buy them. Oh, really? I I'm getting you on that. Another company? Yeah. Now everybody here that someone addict says gonna, someone that's someone that's going to take the brand seriously. Addict said he wants another company to buy Xbox. I don't know about Apple, but I another want company. another company to buy Xbox. Someone who will take the brand serious and do what's best for the Even brand. Though- even know that Microsoft probably has more money than all the companies that can buy them. Mm-hmm. I feel like the other companies will give the people running Xbox more creative freedom and, and more of uh, like a budget besides buying something like a Bethesda mm-hmm. or ABK mm-hmm. to actually correctly do things. You know what I think they should, do? you know what I think can happen, right? Right. Xbox, like, I feel like another company can do more with Xbox with less funds. Because Microsoft has all the money in the world, but they don't utilize it properly, at least not for Xbox. Right? Spin off Xbox. Let like this is gonna sound horrible. This is gonna sound this is gonna sound horrible, but 
uh, let's say Tencent comes in, buys Xbox, and let Xbox operate as a competitor to, to PlayStation. I don't think I'll be mad at that. Right? So let's... Uh, I don't know who else, like, if, if Meta could come in, and, and, and I can see Meta merging literally Xbox and its stuff with, like, its VR, and they have, like, all right, we have the VR we sell, and we have an Xbox we sell. Like, I'm all for it. Elon Musk, if he can afford it, he probably... <laughs> but um, I'm, I'm, I'm all for it. I don't want it. Elon Musk. I need, nah, I need Xbox to... Um... Elon will have three people running all of Xbox. <laughs> I need. If them. you don't like it, I'll find another person that run three jobs. Like, yeah, but we 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 want what's best for Xbox, and I don't think right now Microsoft is best for Xbox. Um, and and the thing is, it so happens that my, Xbox has been the the longest running consumer product, consumer interfacing that they've had, and and no, it's not. It's successful. It's not. You know, PlayStation. Or Nintendo, but it's a good alternative option, and I feel like they could, and it could be a, a really, it could be, it has opportunity to uh, comp- compete more closely with PlayStation or, or or trade blows. But that's all, my, that's all Microsoft, man. Um, so my thing is though, you said they, you think they reversed the course. My thing is, if they reverse the course. What do they announce at this business event? What, what is it for? Okay, let, 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 me, let me rephrase. They reversed some of the initial ideas. I don't think all of it. But it's the initial there My thing is, so whatever changes they have is still big enough where it warrants a conference. Thing is, is this, this got so out of hand that they have to address it publicly. And I do think there are going to be changes made to the, to the Xbox ecosystem. But I don't think it's going to be as severe as was originally uh, reported on. All right, Attic. So let's play. Let, let's 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 play scenarios, right, and see what works. There's going to be changes to the Xbox ecosystem and how people consume Xbox one way or the other with the, whatever they're going to announce next week, right? So, mm-hmm. what does that consist of? Like, what are what what are you putting to me realistically? If you're if Microsoft. You, you, y'all have an internal beef, uh, allegedly internal beef between parent company and little old Xbox. Parent company says, you need to do this. Little Xbox says, hey, this is going to be brand suicide. If we do, you got, we have to pivot a, a way that satisfies all. What do you think? How, what do you see a scenario coming out of, okay, this is what we're going to do? What is that? Day one game pass gone. Yeah, day, I, I think day one Game Pass gone, in mm-hmm. order to keep games exclusive. Now, okay, okay, the very thing. Now you devalue the very thing that kind of gave life to Xbox to keep an Xbox alive. You devalue the subscription. Everything Microsoft has is on on the subscription. So now you're gonna devalue the gaming subscription by taking day one Game Pass. Game Pass, day one games on Game Pass is literally what gives Xbox Game Pass the edge over PlayStation Plus and, and then its price. You know what I mean? Because PlayStation library, if we consider its its retro library, its back catalog is fairly impressive and, and enough to satisfy new PlayStation owners if they're willing to pay for PlayStation Plus. What puts Game Pass over the edge is Game Pass is cheaper and it comes with brand new games and first party games. You know, they don't they don't do legacy now. I think the PlayStation Plus model does make sense for PlayStation who's not trying to go all in on that subscription model. But now what you're doing is you're still killing trust, right? Because now for the Xbox users, for the Game Pass users like me, now which now I'm fully sold onto Game Pass, right? I'm literally now you like if I don't get a review code, right? I'm now utilizing Game Pass for particular games. Like I don't get really get Xbox game reviews unless I'm through you and game sharing, right? But when those cases don't come and we just kind of have, I'm just waiting on Game Pass and I'm utilizing my Game Pass description. Now you take that out and now, all right, if you're going to take first party games in, there's got to be a trade-off like now, 
I'm now I'm going to expect you to now sign more publishing deals so third parties can put more games day and date. But then at that way, it's no value to you. The whole it, it it's day one Game Pass games being removed from Game Pass will lead to the death the death of Game Pass, and it will lead to the death a premature death of Game Pass because somebody's going to come out and put out Game Pass their own version of Game Pass and do it right and do it better, uh and 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 they'll be successful. That's that's exactly what's Ooh, going to happen. People has been doing that. Trust There's me. mad subscriptions like Game Pass out. The thing is, is only PlayStation, Xbox, or Nintendo can truly do it correctly because they own a console. Uh, PlayStation has it, and Nintendo even has their own, but it's not like really that active. It's only on like subscription services. Like, look at the end of the day. Look, I do think that. This was sustainable. Game Pass was a sustainable clause that they, if they would have kept up with content. But the thing is, mm-hmm. let's be real here, man. Last year was okay with Game Pass, but what was it? Minecraft Legends probably didn't do that well. Uh, Forza was a let down to a lot of the hardcore racing fans. Uh, Starfield probably offset the majority of it. Redfall, and then I the year before that, huh? I was gonna say Hi Fi Rush. I think honestly, I think Game Hi-Fi Pass Rush was good. I feel like Game Pass had its best run between twenty twenty one. Uh, uh, twenty twenty one was the best year. And it for did, Game but at the end of the day, no one's subbing to to Game Pass unless they feel like they're going to get something in return. And most of those people see day one pat get day one games is that that thing. And look, even though that a lot of these games, uh, when they did make their appearance on Xbox, I do feel like they that's all they went. Uh, you know, they, they don't care about those games because they're on other platforms and they probably have them on another platform. Uh, at the end of the day, are, will they get rid of Game Pass? I don't know. Will they go complete multiplayer? I don't know. And that's the issue. I think we've been covering this I- industry for damn near 10 years. Well, over 10 years. Well, yeah, 10 years at this point. And I have no clue what's going to happen next. There's week. only one way Game Pass can work and, and for them to hit the masses they need to hit. Only one way. Now you lose day one Game Pass games. I think that that's working backwards because I think you still need a way to entice the Xbox users to utilize the service. There's still got to be a way. Meaning, like, hey, maybe uh, day one Game Pass is only exclusive to Ultimate users, right? Maybe it's I don't only think they'll do that. Trial. Yeah. Maybe uh, at least give trial. Us the trial, more and we and we still maintain way. the discounts for those games. Even yeah, you'll still get all that. I'm like, just talking about dropping, and I'm not even saying all their games. Mm-hmm. There's going to be some games that still enter Game Pass day and day. There's uh, a I way do think you'll, you'll probably get like if they go through with that. My mindset was that they'll probably put like 30 percent of games in Game Pass day and day. The 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 best thing that can put potentially happen that will kind of hurt people. It'll still hurt fanboys. But still satisfy it. Will, it will it will satisfy fanboys and hurt fanboys at the same time. Satisfy Microsoft at the same time. They would need a lot of help. All right, but they have to get a native Game Pass application on Nintendo and PlayStation. That's how their games should be consumed via multiplayer. It has to be Game Pass. Like just like you can download Netflix and YouTube on your consoles, right? Game Pass should be an app. You go into that app and you're now into once you're in that app, you're in the Xbox Game Pass UI. You play the games, the games you play, you're it's pretty much you're like you're playing a virtual Xbox because you'll earn achievements and stuff like that. They do that. Now you really have a situation where you can say, okay, PlayStation Nintendo could get our games because they're getting Game Pass and they can get it natively. They download the app, they play the games, right? Nintendo, uh, it's pretty much like a virtual console. That's how they can do it. But they, I'm assuming they need Nintendo. They have to offer PlayStation a decent cut for being available on that platform. Same thing with uh, with Nintendo. You do that. I actually don't mind that PlayStation and Nintendo users have access to that. If, if the only way they can access those games is through the Game Pass app. Selling it a la carte, like you know, like natively supporting the plat, uh, the PlayStation Nintendo. That's where it's bothersome because what it does is, is it gets they'll get the increase in subscriptions. They'll get that. Uh, they'll get new accounts because it's people on platforms that probably don't have an Xbox. 
but they're still able to sell their games, right? Literally sell their games on because people on PC still want to buy their games because they haven't adopted Game Pass. And then you got the people on Xbox who either want to use Game Pass or they can buy the games. They they can make people happy on all fronts. They on multi-platform and they they're in it in their own sort of wall garden that's on other platform. That's the only way this should work and that I think gamers would accept a native Xbox Game Pass app available on the PlayStation and Nintendo that acts as a virtual console on your console. Will PlayStation ever allow that though? Uh, no, I could, I can answer. Uh, that if no. PlayStation, like, let's say Microsoft says, okay, you know, because think about this, right? Imagine this. Let's say Microsoft went through with their stupid ass third party plan. You know, they're money hungry, right? What if PlayStation money had it games? You know what? We want, uh, we want, uh, you know, Deathloop 2 timed exclusive. It can't come on, Xbox. We'll pay you this. Microsoft. And, and, and you literally get a first party game releasing day uh, early on a PlayStation, and then we still wait for it. Because now you're a third party publisher, all bets are on. You get treated like EA, Activision, Ubisoft, right? Microsoft can technically enter those type of stupid ass deals with PlayStation. I agree. Uh, at the end of the day, though. The only thing that's important is the semantic of things. And, you know, until we see how everything goes down, right, you know, it's all speculation when it comes down to it. And it's going to be a rough week, man. It's going to be a rough week. And, you know, I already see people saying everyone overreacted. Uh, you know, uh, Jeff Grubb did say if the Starfield rumors were never real, then that changes a lot how I see what is happening. Wait, what so, What um, Jeff Grubb say? He said, if the Starfield rumors was not was never real, then that changed a lot of how I see what see what is what is happening. So if the Starfield rumors were fake, he has a different uh different scenario on what's going on here. And I think I know what it is. What's it's are, are they trying to find people that's leaking? But to me, it, is that would trust me, if they only told one person the Starfield shit, they got him. He's done. But I just don't think that's the case. And especially how this Starfield leaker did it. Look who he leaked it to. Us, ILP, mm-hmm. Xbox era. Mm-hmm. Leaked it to uh, to Mags, but not Colt. Why? Because a lot of people clown on Colt for Xbox stuff. So I feel like their mindset would be, if I tell Mags, He's on Colt's podcast, so I'm still going to get the same attention. Mm-hmm. And then what happened? In two hours, they were trending. They knew exactly what Xbox influencers mm-hmm. and what Xbox personalities to go to to do the biggest damage. That was strategic. So- that wasn't something that you just threw out there. Someone deliberately set a chain of bombs in a city trying to start chaos. That's crazy. That's crazy. When you, when you consider the reaction that people have for this news, at the end of the day, it, at the end of the day, when you consider things, this is a hobby and maybe we are all a little bit crazy about this than what we need to be. But look what a bunch of fanboys can make a corporation do. This is that's this if if they indeed pivot from this, right? Well, I think Xbox lost a lot of goodwill, and maybe Microsoft. But I think people understand. Um, maybe this was originally not supposed to get this out of hand, mm-hmm. and it got out of hand. Uh, it needed to though, honestly, because if there's truly a rift, then I can believe the idea that somebody on the inside said, "You know what? This is not going to go over well." We understand Microsoft vision, but there's also an Xbox vision, and Xbox is in the console gaming community, and that community is different. This community is not like phone, the phone community. It's not like the OS and the cloud community. It's different. It's very, very delicate. And I think, and I'm starting to get a little bit more respect for them at Xbox. 
I think they understand that. And no, that's why when, you know, the corporals talk, they keep talking this multi-platform stuff. They open it willingly. Phil Spencer, and when he's talking about it, he's a little bit more vague and he's not very concrete in the messaging, right? But when Satya and Tim, they literally are blatant about it. But when people are Xbox are talking about play anywhere and stuff like that, they're very more vague. So if there is a rift, and, and they're trying they to try come as like, hey, we understand, but this will do ir re, irreparable damage to the brand if we do this. They, they like, and, and, and I guess Satya being head ass and Tim Stewart is not understanding that because they're not gamers. They're not in the gaming community. They don't see it. They don't know. So they would need to learn the hard way. And for them to learn the hard way, it will be too late because the damage will be done. And, and, and then they'd be like, well, why aren't we selling any games? What happened to our subscriptions? What happened to our hardware? It will be literally too late. And they can't afford that. So the thing is, I, whoever's leaking it needed this to come out and expected the same reaction because now it's like, okay, hey, look, this is what's going on at the idea. Just the idea of this. Microsoft do not know these new heads at Microsoft. Maybe the Bill Gates era. I, mean, I don't even fuck with Bill Gates, but the, I mean, when I say that, like the team of Steve Ballmers and all that stuff and all the people that was in that, they understood the how this console stuff works. They understood it. These new people, these cloud people, these AI people, they don't know. And that's why that's why they're, they don't know the damage they're doing. They literally are they're people. They, they're so smart. They don't know. They don't. They can't identify a stupid decision if it landed on their big toe. Like, they, and and that's the that's the problem. That is the problem. The way they operate, they don't know. It's just a disconnect. Let the gaming dudes handle that. You are Microsoft. You're a trillion dollar company. You got money. Let them operate as a business within Microsoft and leave them alone. Leave them alone because they they're probably warning Microsoft like, hey, we're like if if I'm curious now. I don't think Xbox is enough to drop the stocks, but if there was like an internal stocks of this coming out, it had have crashed. It would have crashed, and I think. Microsoft is the least maybe a little bit convinced. Maybe they're convinced. I know Xbox is convinced, but because they've been in the trenches, they know what it's like. They know what it's like. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to this Monday or Tuesday. What day you think is uh, Monday, Tuesday? You know, people are saying Monday, but I have no clue because, like, I'm kind of curious if it is Monday I mean, mm -hmm. or Friday and they haven't announced anything. They just drop in something Monday morning. Was it like, Xbox? Why are they going to show up on CNBC? Was it Phil Spencer supposed to be on the news? That was, that was a lie. Okay. Do you think Xbox wire is enough? I think and there's going to be a video. I don't think wire is enough. I think there, I think there will be some sort of Xbox wire posts. No, no, but, but I think it will it come in. Followed. It has to. I be. think something else would be for will show up, and then the Xbox Wire is going to come along with it. But they have to. They can't just do a wire. They if, just can't. If, if Microsoft is doing it, then it won't be an Xbox Wire. It'll be something else. I don't know what I don't know what they're going to do. I, I I really don't know. But it's crazy the fact that they never formally mentioned this. This is all started from rumors. It all started from Hi Fi Rush, and then. Uh, Steven Statilla with his Sea of Thieves thing and talk about Gears of War, man. Yeah, that, that's enough to make a grown man cry. I'm telling you that right now. Um, and like I said, it's not appropriate. And like I said, and at the end of the day, we all could look at this as like, yo, Microsoft, this is probably a, a smart move for them because they could turn into a big publishing conglomerate. But it's just wrong timing. It's, it's bad timing. They need PlayStation to come up off them exclusive before they make a move like that. They actually need PlayStation to kind of go first on this or let, or, or, or like, they can be like, hey, we need to work something out so this is a cohesive thing and works. Because then, but the thing is, is like, PlayStation, I'm not, I'm not going to help you. I'm going to let you self-destruct. They PlayStation See, knows Xbox will self-destruct in a situation yeah, and, like and, this. And that's my thing. When you take the exclusives out and they completely 
not only go from no games to literally no games. Who says that PlayStation lets off the foot? Yeah. PlayStation might end up okay. They don't got their own games. Now what we can do to finish drawing that nail into their spine, go to go go to Ubisoft, buy up its timed exclusives. Then they start hitting the third party stuff and start locking more of that shit behind them. Cuz you also got to think about this. If Microsoft is willing to go multi-platform for its first party games, what incentives does Microsoft have to buy any timed exclusives? Xbox would None. never get an exclusive None. ever again. Think about it. If your first party games aren't going to be exclusive, why would they even se- seek out timed exclusives or third party exclusive? They they wouldn't. See, look, I'm not saying I know the industry better than the next guy mm. but i am saying i truly believe that if they go through with this it's going to domino affect them out of the console in the next five years absolutely 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 it will it will be it will be a speed run out of the console market and xbox will become an app and then they're going to close down a lot of their studios because they're going to realize they have all these studios for freaking nothing and no platform to move it so that's how Microsoft will self-destruct the Xbox and uh, force a lot of people onto PlayStation or onto PC or out of gaming, uh, period. Because the gaming, like I said, is not uh, creative or diverse enough. There's a lot of, uh, um, I think there's a, just a lot going on. There's a, maybe it's a crash with the video game industry. Um, games are too expensive. Uh, they're not different enough. Um, and we need more innovators and we need more competition and we're losing competition. Um, so, but I will say this to anybody asking, Hey, kids move once they go third party, will you still be on Xbox? Yes, I'll still be on Xbox. I'm not getting rid of my Xbox anytime soon. I'll stop playing Xbox when Xbox shuts these Xbox down. Um, however, what it does do is that I will migrate. I will start indulging more on like, you know, PC role guy, like I'm already playing. Uh, PlayStation st- will still get its exclusivity love when I'm playing like uh, uh, its own games, but yeah, it, it, I don't think it changes much. It's just that I think more so for personalities, YouTube content creation, I think that changes more so as far as, but as far as gaming, the, the Xbox is still a dope ass platform, a dope, a dope ass box I like to play on. Um, it just would have been that much better if I know it had games unique for its box that can be played exclusively on it, like uh, Indiana Jones Avowed, Hellblade 2, Perfect Dark, if they elect to do it. The minute they put Halo or Gears or Forza on PlayStation, they 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 tear the brand away because those are Xbox identity uh, brands and, and, and that would hurt. And I know Xbox and Phil Spencer and all of them know this. Microsoft's Tim Stewart and Satya does not. They they are AI and cloud uh, innovators. Uh, they're they're enterprise. They they don't know consumer business. They don't know gaming. They're they're just a, they just happen to be CEOs of the richest company, and they can afford to you know shut down an Xbox or ruin an Xbox and not fill it because their expertise and their money is coming from AI, cloud, and Microsoft Word. And not not to mention when you look at like the the la- the the scale of everything. You know, all this stuff going on, it's like I said, the biggest give is no one has made any type of public announcement besides Phil coming out, pretty much telling us to look for another date. You don't set up a business. Uh, or how did he exactly word that? What was the exact wording? Hold up. There he is. He said... A business update. A business update. And people expect me to believe that all this was fake. You know what I'm saying? It's like, we're listening, we hear you. We've been planning a business update event for next week. And people really expect me to believe they were going to go on that stage and have all this energy to making this event. And say, yo, Hype by Rush and see if these are coming to PlayStation. Yeah, I don't think that you need a. I don't think you need to. I'm done.
Are we done? You're muted again. Smooth's been having some serious technical issues. Look at that, man. We got the we got the host. Can't push the record button. Missing entire recording segments. Don't know what's going on with this setup. Yo, can I be here now? Why does that keep you. happening randomly? I don't know. What? Mine's never done ah, that. Cause sure sucks. All right. I'm gonna say this, right? If anybody should be port get all right, port rise over to PlayStation. And PlayStation port order eighteen eighty six over to Xbox. Blue Dragon go to PlayStation. Yeah, bring those come on, stop. Like y'all got a bunch of old ass games that are just rotten on old ass platforms to a port. Do that. Do that. Re I want PlayStation and Xbox to bring over there those those old ass games that are stuck on PlayStation 3 and 360 report them and make those multi-plat do that do that 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 will be fine cuz some of these games I don't want to uh, replay that and I need a uh, like there's 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 some game, like Kenan, like there's so many damn games that like Xbox only mean got that are third party all right guys let's uh let's get out of here attic uh it's been a good one uh we went you know and hour and you know six minutes uh deep episode 29 playing xbox weapon will thank you to the patreon uh make sure you continue to subscribe continue to support us uh, i'll be doing more content on the channel uh, some more skits probably a comedy special i'm working on um god willing um and uh some uh reviews coming out uh be doing banishers review uh next week hopefully you guys enjoy that uh attic you uh, my uh, mm -hmm. content over on Gaming Addict like normal. I am also uh, you know, building a uh, Addict Arena. It's a streaming platform right now. I uh, gonna be streaming Hell Divers today. Mm -hmm. Probably play that for a little bit. Then probably tomorrow I'll go back to Final Fantasy VII Remake. Uh, you know, it, it's it's fun to try something new. I have like another puzzle to work on, which is um. A streaming channel. Wait, a puzzle. But yeah, that's about it. And you can follow me. You can find me on Twitter at Lord Addict IOP, and you can also find me on a uh, IOP every Sunday at one p.m. That is, hey, you can find me on Weapon Will every Sunday at five p.m. All right, thank you guys. As always, Xbox is. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see you guys next week. Later.